Hi everyone, it's Angela from KK Angel and welcome to another episode of the 12 Trees of Christmas. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy 3D cookie. And for this, we're going to use just a few tools. You can see I have a scribe tool, some paint brushes. I have a piping bag with green thick consistency icing and a tip 21. And you see tip 21 is a star tip, so that's going to create the nice shape for our Christmas trees. I also have a tipless bag with just some regular white icing in it. Now this icing we're just going to pipe onto the cookie is we're actually going to cover it to make a snow effect. So we're not looking for anything to be perfect like a flood consistency. We just want to dry brush it to give the effect of a natural covering of the cookie. And this is a thin consistency that I have in my bag but you could use thicker icing as well, whatever you have. not too concerned about it being perfectly flat or covering the edges completely we just wanted this to look nice and rustic okay that's looking good next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and pipe our trees now this is a really simple technique, you just want to make sure when you're using this that your bag is straight. So you want to hold it above the surface of the cookie and squeeze and let the icing come out on its own. You can see it's got all those nice lines from the tip and I'm squeezing and pulling up, squeezing and pulling up. And I do that three times and it just creates a really nice tree effect. Now to make sure that you're getting that nice shape of the tree as well, you want to make sure that you pipe a little less for each of those three stars. Essentially what we're making is three elongated stars. Now don't worry if they start to tip over a little bit, you can straighten those up with your scribe tool once you're done. I'm just going to get that third one in. So a nice and simple technique. Star tips are really great for creating things like this. You can do borders with it, you can do scrolls with them as well. But when you stack them on top of each other, they make a really cute Christmas tree. Let's do the same thing again on our second cookie. I'm gonna do a little bit of extra snow for this one. Again, just dry brushing it. So this creates just some nice details, it creates a little bit of volume to the cookie as well and it's nice to do something that isn't a flood consistency cookie either. So when you want to do something that's more textured, this is a great, great technique for that. And then we're going to swap over to our green icing again. So we're going to squeeze and pull, squeeze and pull squeeze and pull. So again we're squeezing a little less each time and it's actually that motion of pulling the bag up that helps to create the look of the tree. So again your icing has to be on the stiffer side for this so you get all those nice line details from your piping tip. That'll also help it stand up as well. Perfect. So you could leave them like that, you could dust them with ice and sugar if you wanted to once they've crusted over, but I'm just going to throw a couple of sprinkles on them just to jazz them up a little bit. And it's entirely up to you what kind of sprinkles you use, what colours you use. This is where you can be as creative as you like and just add lots of colour to your trees. So and if any of your sprinkles run away like mine is starting to, you can always use a scry tool just to pop them back into place. You could even decorate around the trees as well, that would be quite a nice look too. Okay so that's our first cookie done, nice and cute, and I'm just going to go on to the second ones. And because of the angle that I'm holding my cookie at, so you can see this nice and clearly, you can see they've started to lean a little bit, so I'm just using my scribe tool to reposition them. 
If you don't have a scribe tool, you can always use a toothpick for this. And there we go, a nice and quick way of creating 3D trees on a cookie. Really simple and a good technique to practice as well when you're piping stars. Hope you found this useful. Don't forget to comment below if you try out this technique and like the video and also subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.